Hi guys, it's a beautiful morning once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. But today's video, allow me to give you an update about our fish. You know that we are into this kind of business for the past 20 years and before I started vlogging on YouTube, I already have bred several kinds of fish and in fact, we were able to establish two branches of our pet store just for breeding these different types of fish. Well, we have so many videos about breeding of Japanese koi, we have breeding of goldfish, and we have several types of goldfish that we were able to breed before. And then we also give you some tips on how to do this one. And this is actually a very easy thing to do if we are just going to know about the, the secrets, the basic tips on how to go about these things. Well, in one of my videos, I said that this is really a good business. If you have a problem of getting a permanent job and you like to breed this fish, well, that's a good option. You can start it now and you can start your own breeding and prosper. Because I have experienced that my income as fish breeder is much, much higher compared to the income that I receive as a government employee because this is business. And if you can produce thousands of fish, well, you will also have thousands of income. So today we will demonstrate how we're gonna harvest our goldfish. Well, we have the second batch of this uh, oranda and these are now ready to be harvested and be sold at the pet store. But we have to segregate according to its sizes. Well, I have spotted that we can segregate three sizes. The first size would be the good size, which is already very good for selling at the aquarium or at the pet store because they're already big and they have good body formation and number two is the inferior ones those ones that have colors but then their sizes are just very small so we cannot sell them at the pet store the number three is those fish that have not changed their color because though they are big but they haven't molted yet so we will decide to put them in the mud pan so i will now make a demonstration how we are going to harvest so guys i am here beside at the concrete tank i intended this concrete tank as our grow out tank for goldfish and uh, some time ago we also used this as our grow out tank for our japanese koi and today we can harvest some 500 or more than of this uh, orandas and you will see that this orandas have no uniform sizes of course this is a shallow tank uh, just measured around uh, less than one meter in depth and then we have two meters in width and then we have eight meters in length this is already a good size if you are just intending to grow fish numbering around 500 to 1000 heads but then the problem is they will not really grow fast that's why i really made an effort to build this mud pen so we will now make a harvest and we will segregate this fish according to its sizes and color So guys, you will see that I have here three different types of sizes. You will see that the large one are really good now. And uh, we are selling this actually at 50 pesos per goldfish. You will see this one, this is already big. And these are now very beautiful to see inside in the aquarium. Well, I'm saying that this is only 50 pesos, that's one dollar, because uh, this oranda are the common fish. But if we can produce the water bubble eye, the calico rancho, or the bullhead, or the buffalo rancho, or the fish that are rare, you cannot just easily breed them, then that's a big money to, to earn. And uh, you will look over there. These are the important ones that we have bred. And uh, we are now beginning to breed this again because we don't have enough supply of fish 
abroad. So we cannot just easily get supplies abroad so we will breed again our fish. I am intending to massively produce this kind of fish now because we already have this mud pen and I promise you that we are going to make an integrated farming where we can see fish at the farm we can see this uh, quails we can see these ducks chickens and all other animals that can be integrated in the farm so this is actually now developing and uh, in the next couple of weeks we will also uh, make some fish pans at the farm for our breeders so guys you will see here that this fish inside in this green container are not able to molt meaning that they haven't changed their color yet so what we will do is to put them again we will throw them back at the pan but since we already have the mud pan we will try to throw them if they will grow fast and per experience those fish that are grown in the mud pan will really grow very fast so this size is the the medium size actually and they have already good colors if you have this kind of size you can decide whether to throw them back to the pan for another couple of weeks so that they will grow and you will have a good price on them or immediately sell this one but in my case I can sell this one already because we also have some customers that likes to sell small fish at their pet store so this one is good and actually my tip to you is if you have this kind of fish that have grown fast you can select breeders your future breeders and this would be a good selection if you can get those ones that have grown fast that have grown big compared to the other siblings then these are good potentials to become breeders so we will put this here and then this one the medium sizes will be sold now at the pet store but this one will be thrown back at the mud pan so we will mix them together with the babies of the Japanese koi. So guys, we will put them momentarily together with the baby kois. So we have placed the small fish that haven't molted together with the baby kois and we will throw them together at the mud pan. So these are the typical red white oranda and you will see that they have very beautiful colors and their bodies are just perfect but their sizes are not that big. I can imagine if we will just throw this at the mud pan, their sizes will really grow big. In a period of two months you can already harvest jumbo sizes of this kind of fish. This is one of the good things that you will experience if you have a good drain pipe and you are also making this uh, elevated tank because it is really very easy to drain the water. So we don't have problems about draining the water. You can just drain this very easily at any time and also we don't have any problem about water disposal. 
because we'll, this will just go to the rice bin. So guys, we are now beginning to repack our our goldfish and our intention is to bring this to the pet store and we will display this inside the aquarium and then we will sell this one. Of course, this is a business and as you know, we've been doing this one and uh, I estimated to harvest around 500 of good size of this goldfish and if we will actually sell 50 pesos each the ones that have good sizes by just gathering 500 of this we will have a good amount of income we will try to catch all that have good sizes and then another catch will be the medium size and then the small ones and then we will compute how much we will earn out of this harvest So guys, we have finally finished our repacking of the goldfish and we have harvested 300 pieces of good size of this goldfish and we also have harvested 300 pieces for the smaller ones. And this good size can be sold at 50 pesos. That's equivalent to $1. And if you will compute 300 pieces times 50 that's gonna be 15,000 pesos and if you will also add the 300 pieces times 20 pesos that's gonna be around 3,000 pesos more or less we will earn out of this harvest the amount of 18,000 pesos and this is actually a good income already for just having a fish tank like this and you don't need to invest a big capital just to be able to have this kind of fish so that's why I said that this business is really good and even comparable to other business like ducks and quail farmings so guys we will go to the pet store and we will drop this inside in the aquarium come on let's go guys this is how our business runs we breed and then we grow and then after growing for how many months we will bring in the fish and then we will sell it so this is a simple yet lucrative business and I've been doing this as what I always have mentioned to encourage others I've been doing this for 20 years now I started in March 2000 and until now the business is still going on that's why I decided to create my channel on YouTube to also share my knowledge to those people who wanted to also engage in this kind of hobby or in this kind of business. Aside from the income that we are gaining, we are also able to connect with people. Meaning you can have so many friends and you will also expand your connection with other people. So this is the thing that I am really very proud about because I've started just a simple backyard breeder and then it turned out to be a pet shop owner now with two branches. It's actually a milestone for me. 
I did not even plan to have a pet store like this. So God gave us this opportunity and I would like to share this to other people who may be wanting also to have this kind of business. So this is the thing that we can share so far. Uh, in the next video, we are going to put some 5,000 fry of this Japanese koi to the mud pan. Actually, we are now preparing. We are just fixing the dike and also the net that will prevent the predators from coming inside the pan. So I hope guys you will continue to like and share our videos only here at Dexter's World. Don't forget to subscribe.